Hey, this is Drew, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to basically go over every single step that we take from um, basically talking to a customer all the way to actually having the event. Every single thing, starting from the time where they first message you all the way to actually doing the event. So this video is great for anyone that is just getting started in the business or anyone that's in the business and kind of just maybe wants a refresher or maybe you can learn a thing or two from how we do it. So initially, the step one would be basically having the person reach out to you, um, inquiring about the event. They'll usually just ask you if you're available for a certain day and location. Um, then obviously the first step is to make sure you are available. So check your calendar, make sure you have availability there. And if you do, then you proceed and let the customer know, yes, we are available. And then try to f ask questions, um, basically to find out which photo booth option do they want. So if you only have one photo booth, obviously you're just gonna tell them uh, the details about the rental for that photo booth. But if you're like me, you have digital booth and a print booth. Shoot, you may even have a 360 booth. Uh, just kind of ask them questions. Well, what exactly are you looking for? Then, you know, they're most likely gonna ask details for everything. So be prepared, have a list of um, your pricing, packages, everything that's included, and send that to the customer. Um, usually it'll take them some time to, you know, look at it and, and actually pick what they want. Then they'll either let you know if they want a book or maybe they need some more time to talk it over. Um, if they choose to talk it over, one huge tip I can give you is just let them know that you only have availability for one booth for them for that day. That way they don't take their sweet time. Maybe they might forget or you know, maybe they might wanna search and find other options. But if you put that pressure on them to actually book because they may lose out an opportunity to have your services, you know, your photo booth at their event, um, they, may, they may act and actually book on the spot. So I always let them know like, hey, we only have a, one availability for your, uh, for your date, for you. Um, what you can do is put a $99 deposit, then you can pay the rest up to one week before your event. Or if you'd like to pay in cash, you can pay on cash before we come to set up. That usually works about 80% of the time. The other 20% of the time, they may need a day or two to talk it over to, you know, could be a fiance or their, their husband or the daughter, whoever it is, they may need that uh, time. So I like to let them know like, okay, well what I can do is I could give you a one day temporary hold. Um, after that, I cannot promise you that the booth will be held without a deposit. So, you know, after this step, if you do get a yes that they're ready to book, um, what you're gonna wanna do, get a deposit. That's the first thing you do. Don't get off the phone and, and say, hey, I'm gonna send you a contract, then you can pay the deposit because what you're doing is you're allowing them to basically just you know wander off in their day and do something else and again like i said they might just forget if they're ready to book and they're saying they're ready to book get a credit card you can do it over the phone and um let's just say if they're busy and they can't do it over the phone just send them a link and just say okay well please do this right now we, we definitely want to get this locked in uh, uh, for you so that's one thing a lot of people tend not to do um get a deposit right away first step then after you get the deposit, you can um, worry about the details, like what's the exact address for the event, what's the customer's phone number. Um, what we do is we have a form on our website that has all that information. Um, I'll, I'll go through real quick. Uh, first name, last name, phone number, email, um, address of the event, day of the event, what hours do they want the photo booth to start, what time do they want it to end, and, um, and then I have a section basically saying, you know, outdoors, indoors, if, and then if it's outdoors, I always ha I have a note um, that says, if it's outdoors, you are responsible to provide shade. We cannot leave our photo booth in the sun. If it's in the sun, it'll damage our photo booth. And then there's a uh, section that just says, anything you'd like to add, please add it here. And that's where they could type, um, you know, something, something that is very special to their event or if they just wanna ask a question in there, that's usually where they do it. So then we have the deposit, they filled out this form. The next step is for them to fill out our template form. We uh, basically, it's a similar thing, just a bunch of questions. Just um, the first question we ask on the template form is, um, what words do you want on the template exactly? Like, and I put in parentheses, Please use exact spelling. We'll, we, uh, we will be copying and pasting this into the template. This is very important to put because 
oftentimes um, in the past before we actually did this people would tell us what they want um, they wanted added to their template but they would misspell something or maybe even sometimes put the wrong date and we would just copy and paste it so we ran into issues like literally I would say five times where they made a mistake but it kind of came back on us because they're like, oh, well, why didn't you guys catch that? Like, it's the wrong date, but like, didn't you know? Like, the event is on, on Saturday and the, that's yesterday's date. So if you put in, on the, the form, please use the exact um, writing because we will copy and paste it. You kind of save, you save your ass, you know? Like, you're covering yourself, so. Um, yeah, so we start off on the template uh, form that um, what words? The next is any colors to use, um, any type of theme to the party that you want us to match. Then the next step for the template questions is, um, do you have an invitation that you would like us to work off of? And then I, it's just yes or no. If they select yes, um, I'll explain a little bit later. May no, I'll just tell you now. <laughs> we basically have them email it to us because if they have an invite, it's gonna help us. Like, well, I, like, I don't do the templates myself. Monsa, my partner does. Um, it'll help her design the template because we have something that they're they're okay with um, So we know what colors, you know, maybe there's little logos on it or whatever We can basically work off of the temp uh, the invite and um, help that help use that to create our template Oh, sorry. I don't know. Why I'm mumbling right now, but um and then another part on the template question is just anything you'd like to add, please be very specific. Just a note, if you give us lack of information um, given to us on this template, uh, me resulting in a revision will cost you $10. Um, we've never charged someone for that, but we just have that stated there because uh, when I first started the photo business, I would notice that a lot of customers were um, giving me very little information, very little guidance on the template, and I would make it based off of the information they gave me, then they would go back and say, hey, can you do this and that? The information they didn't give me from the get-go, I would say, sure, yeah, no problem, you know? You know, just getting started, you wanna do everything you can to make your customer happy. So then I'd send another revision, then they'd say, oh, you know what, I just thought about it, maybe add a butterfly in the corner, or something like that. And I'm like, sure, no problem. Then I come again, and it just kept going on and on and on. And I, I just came to a point to realize, like, I am wasting too much time on this. They need, to, they need to just send me everything at once, and if they don't, they can pay. So the fact that they know that they have to pay, they'll actually take the time and answer the questions and make sure I have enough information. So um, that pretty much is it for the template part. Then after we have those two forms sent, um, the next thing we want to do is send out a contract stating what we are, the, 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 the terms of service, basically like what we're providing for you, what you've paid for, what's to be expected, the responsibility, and the list goes on. This is just basic contract stuff. And then we also, at the end of the contract, we have um, the payment, like the uh, money is due this day, um, or if you're paying in cash, it has to be paid the day of the event. Um, I know a lot of photo booth owners do not accept cash. They would rather just have the money given a, a week, sometimes a month before the event. But uh, that's just the way I like to do business. I, um, you know, there are some benefits of having cash being paid. So yeah, after we have that, they they sign it. Um, then we have the agreement, and then all that all that's left to do is obviously make sure the template gets done, it gets approved. Then we basically plan our uh, day when it comes to dropping off the photo booth and if it's a print booth we stay there or we have an attendant so then we basically just show up um, about an hour and a half early for prints and if it's a digital event uh, iPad photo booth um, we just kind of coordinate that way and again I forgot to mention um, before we even show up, we are in communication probably about two to three days before the event with the customer just to make sure like, hey, like, you know, we're looking forward to working with you and we just wanna check in to see when we can um, show up. It's about two days is the best day to do this because things change and that the person that hired you may no longer be arriving at the venue or the place of the event. Um, on that time, they may not even be showing up at all. So, you know, I usually like to do that two days before just to reach out and just make sure like, hey, who's gonna be there when we show up? Uh, who's gonna pay us? Or 
all that stuff. So you gotta know that beforehand. So now we've talked about every single thing. You are at your event and that's it. You know, all, all the prep work should be done. Your photo booth should be tested. I don't even think I need to mention that. The day before, you guys should have your equipment tested and ready, loaded up to go. So, um, you know, after an event, hopefully everything went well. I like to do a follow-up, um, usually about two days after the event. If it's a print booth, um, I like to send them a Google Drive with all the photos on it. That way, if they want to share it to their family and friends, they can share it. Or if it's an iPad photo booth, I will send them uh, the link to their gallery, even though they should have that already. And then i just like to say thank you so much for hiring us. I hope you guys enjoyed the photo booth. If you can, please, please leave us a review on Yelp, Google, and then, you know, all that other stuff where you can get reviews. This is really important to do because um, reviews help your business, especially if you are using platforms like Google Business or Yelp to get business. I'm saying business like 10 times. So yeah, then that's usually the last thing we do. So that's everything from A all the way to the end. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found any value in it, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and also hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss any videos. I will see you guys soon, bye.